Welcome back everybody to the San Diego Surf. Today is the biggest game of the series. We are facing elimination here in the first round and we must win to have a chance to take this series over the Timberwolves. It's been a tough series so far. Minnesota winning the first two games and then we were able to turn the series to Minnesota, win the two games there decisively and then we go back home and lose. The visiting team has won every single game, so hopefully we can force a game seven and then break that trend. There were some good suggestions from the last episode. I do want to check out Neil Hope's stamina. Obviously, he hasn't really been able to play all these minutes we've wanted him to, and the fatigue hasn't been where it needs to be and it's probably affecting his play. He's not playing as well. He does have below average stamina, so perhaps that's a reason why he struggled here in the postseason. I don't know if I should take away any minutes. He's still Neil Hope, but we're not getting the play from him I expected. At the same time now, Jared Allen is seeing a little fatigue in this series against Carl Anthony Towns, who has just taken over as many games as he can, including game five, which saw him score 40. So I've updated the rotation yet again for game six. Now we're going to see the starters get a couple minutes of rest before they get action going here in the fourth quarter. So in the third, there's a lot of rest there as the backups come in. I can obviously change some things if the game isn't going well. I have Kane getting more of a rest. He was playing like the end of the third and the entire fourth, so now a couple minutes of break there. We don't have any minutes but two, it looks like, for Michael Carter-Williams. I think the last thing I want to do here, I need to make sure Allen is ready for the fourth, so I'm going to bring his minutes down just a little bit. I really need Alexi Edwin to help us out. We need him. I might just monitor the stamina on Allen as well and manually sub in Edwin if needed. I think he can handle more than 15 minutes and I think he should play more than 15 minutes. Perhaps I can also find him some time to play at power forward potentially. But right now, Carl Anthony Towns averaging 30.2 points per game in the postseason. We have to find a way to keep him from taking over game six and ending our season. Game six, everybody. Can we get the victory? We are back on the road where we've won our only two games. So let's hope we can continue that today. Wait a minute. Why didn't I hit triangle? I promise. But Minnesota starts with the ball today. And the whole plan is to not let Carl Anthony Towns take over. And hey, he missed his first shot of the game. I also uh, got a su good suggestion. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this. I just didn't. But if I do pick and roll with Neil Hope, I might be able to get some better matchups and get away from Andrew Wiggins' defense. As that did not really go as planned. Sexton's just got to pull up here. Nothing. But if I can do some pick and roll, I can get some better matchups. Because I got to just respect the defense of Wiggins. It's been way too good. And I'm not scoring against him with Neil. Screen, drive, find Allen. He's open. Not this time, though. And now Wiggins down the floor. Trying to get the Timberwolves an early advantage. He draws contact. And that's on Cole. Now, we're also flexible enough late in game to where I could play Cole at power forward if needed. If our offense is doing fine without Rodney Kane, that's an option because Cole's defense is a lot better than his. As far as the ratings go, they say they're like uh, average, basically. Here's Daniels. Had to go deep for him. It's a three. But uh, he's at least positionally an average defender, and Kane is not. So that's just one option we have as Towns gets the ball against Allen. And he's looking for an opening. And no. Not with the right hand. Oh, no. Bad throw. Bad pass. Bad idea. I might be able to do those long passes with, like, Sexton. Should not attempt it with Jamal Cole. That was just a bad idea. But, hey, they turned it over right back to us. 
KC. Nope. In the corner now. Turning around. Sexton. Not quite. Trying to slow down Beasley so defense can get in position. And the Wolves miss. Just a couple makes in this game so far. Here we go. Right past him with the speed of Colin Sexton. I think I have to get to the line a lot more. Not shooting enough free throws. Could really use these. And we'll start two for two. So today is just game six. And hopefully next time we get ourselves a game seven. Goodson now finding Wiggins who got away from Neil Hope and drains the three. A switch on Neil Hope. And there we go. That's something I should be doing a lot more often. I don't need to just try to brute force my way against good defenders. I wonder what Wiggins' ratings actually are. I know Minnesota doesn't have a lot of bad defenders. I think that Beasley is our best matchup. Um, if we check out rebounding is low, box out, on-ball defensive IQ. Like A lot of stuff here is below average, but it's not far below average. Plus, I'm just not that good. So, I think at the end of the day, it turns Wiggins into an elite defender. Here's Towns now against Allen. And he misses again. An 0 of 3 start for Carl Anthony Towns. And now we're going to Cole. And no. Beasley back the other way. Crossover on Daniels. Uh-oh. Got to keep up here. Beasley gives it out to Goodson. Oh, the hand off to Beasley! I will try to just trust some of these plays also when things aren't going too well. Had a fair amount of success here with just uh, whatever the game recommends I do. Sexton trying to drive around, and now it is cool. Another miss from up close. Beasley feeding Wiggins, and the Wolves are up by three. Slow start here for um, Allen, or uh, Cole rather, as Hope misses the open three. Hope only with two points, and now Katz gets his first two. They're leaving Hope alone again. Gotta take these! Let's go, Neil! We need you at your best today. It'll be tough to win back-to-back -back here against Minnesota. They are such a good team. I can't believe they're the seven seed. Like, if it gets tougher from here, it's going to be a really difficult time as we tie it up. They shoot well. For the most part, I think they play good defense. They have a superstar and cat that can do everything. And they're a seven. Oh, Goodson got free. And launches! And miss. I guess it's Hope's turn. Not taking another one. Not yet, anyway. Let's go, Hope. Driving here. Nope. Nothing. So we're going low to Allen instead. And over Towns. No. Actually, the ball never gets that far. Goodson open again. Yep, he'll take it. And that is another miss. Getting fortunate here that Minnesota's not on their game. And we'll take the lead back. Goodson on the drive, kicks to the corner, Wiggins, that'll go! Tried to get over just in time, Wiggins with eight. KC, not going to get there, they slowed all of his momentum. Now he's going to try to get free in the corner, Daniels, that's a three! Let's go, KC! Making some shots from deep, thankfully, now Towns... Battling to the rim. One point game. We do have Brooks on the floor now. I believe that was our only substitution. I think the Timberwolves made a few. Oh, Cat. Ooh. Brooks is left alone though. I gotta take it. And he drills it. I was surprised by that help defense. Sometimes you just get a double team that opens someone up and you just get lucky like that. 
Claxton now on the floor. Wiggins as well. Claxton now against Hope. He's got to give it up. They're probably going to get uh, Towns the ball now. Bogdanovich. Ooh, now Cat's going to the corner. I like where this is going. Bogdanovich with Brooks smothering him defensively. Misses. Let's go. Up four. Neil Hope on the drive. He's wanting the contact and gets the easy points. 15-4 run. Not bad. Claxton. And now Wiggins pulling up. Hope got there just in time. And the rebound. All right. Back down the floor. Cole. No, no, don't pass there. Ah. Wish I could have pumped that one in time. Bogdanovich now. Brooks is all over him. I like seeing that, but I lost track of Towns. Cole trying to create some space. Oh, come on. Step back. Step back. No, I'm just lucky enough to get the ball back. Here's a three. Brooks smothered, and it was close. Oh, Wiggins got a little space there, but they just aren't hitting right now. We're getting pretty fortunate. They're not on their game tonight. Here's Cole. Let's go. That's like my best tactic right there is just be faster than they expect and get their defense out of alignment. Allen's doing well right now in terms of stamina. That's great news. He and Cat still on the floor. Cat also hasn't really done much to lower his stamina as Hope gets a hand on it. Now Cole trying to push the tempo. And it looks like he'll give it up to Neil Hope. Nine points in the first. That's what we need. Hope is heating up. And now Wiggins. Thought about the step back. Now Claxton. Kicks it out. Bogdanovich. I got a hand there. All right, no open looks, nothing free. Down the floor, thought about it. A little pick there from uh, Allen, and another basket from Hope. It's time for the star to take over in the playoffs. The way I think I'll play this game, because it's going to be a one-game episode, I'm going to do, if I do any simulating, that's offline. Ooh, we got it back. Foul. My plan is to play into the second quarter and probably do some simulating to end the first half and to begin the second. So I'll play basically 70% or so of a game, maybe 75, depending on if it stays close. Right now, things are going our way. I like it. Kane, down low. No. All right, Bolden, let's go with the fade now. On the drive, they leave him free. It's Bolden! He can hit that shot! Don't forget about it. Bogdanovich is cold for a change in this series. Stevenson on the floor. It's pure backups now. Surf up nicely. 31-19. We're not letting him get free. Not this time. He's going to have to take a bad shot. And he misses it. I might keep this in his hands, though. Oops, I didn't mean to take it already. But uh, that's the end of the quarter. And we're up by 12. I'm pretty happy with how that went. I'm not sure what it's been about this series, but the road team has looked better in every game. All right, one quarter in, long way to go. Got to finish. Not even all that started. A little space there. Taking it. Thought it was a decent look. That's where Edwin can uh, hit some shots. Henry now on the drive. Get out of here. Blocked it right to Bolden. And now Edwin back to him. Nope. Not if it's not for sure. There we go. Opening him up slightly. Another three from Jonah Bolden. And a 15 point surf advantage. Let's keep building this lead here with the backups as Minnesota. They can't get anything to go. Burke? How about we get a little pick here from Alexi? 
Edwin opens up Trey Burke. And I should have set my feet on that shot. Minnesota trying to get back on the board again. And they just can't get an opening. They're not getting any open shots. That's the strange part of all this. As Alexi Edwin with the left hand gets his first points. We average 25 assists per game. We've already assisted 13 shots. We are playing team basketball tonight. Henry guarded nicely by Burke. Not sure why our defense is so much better today, but it's sound. They've got to take another bad shot, and they are not getting back into the game taking shots like that. Kane now, he's at zero. Rodney Kane, who can shoot, he can take over a game if need be. Has zero, and that just changed. A three from deep puts us up 20. The starters are back in, on our team anyway. Hope's out there, Allen. The Wolves decided not, and they just turned it over again. Neil Hope against the backup. I mean, I've got to do something about that, right? Minnesota frustrated. They're shooting 29%. Neil Hope. Oh, man. But still, not going to get too confident here. Just want to keep playing well as the Wolves score for the first time in a little bit, at least. I wonder when they're going to bring out their starters because then our backups are probably going to face their starters in a little bit. It'll be really strange. Uh-oh. Don't try the spin move with Rodney Kane, I guess. Howard. Defended by Neal. And Henry now. Retreats to the line. And I'm trying just to stay with Parker here. We have a double team. Okay, someone is off their assignment. Beasley misses. And he got his own rebound. And now Henry on the drive. Pulling up. Casey Daniels, that's how fast he is! Just a couple moves and then just hit the gas. He's gone. Casey versus Beasley now. He'll give it up to Parker. Parker versus Kane. Beasley drawing contact. That was nice. That one is offline. One for two for Minnesota. Still no sign of Carl Anthony Towns or the other starting players. Allen, that's a deep two. Not the best shot to take. It was open. No points yet for Jarrett Allen. He really hasn't been much of the offensive focus in this series. Carl Anthony Towns has had a major effect on that. And now Beasley making some plays here in the second. Gives it up. Howard now. Hope defending. They'll get it out to Beasley again. He's got to keep this one and shoots it over the head of Casey Daniels. We've still made five more threes than them. Have I made that many today? There was two with Bolden, one with Neal. Oh my, I, I meant to shoot. I think I accidentally bumped the icon button there. I had an open three. Probably would have made one more. Hoping to get open on this. Casey Daniels! Oh yeah, he's made a few in this game. So it's the players I drafted really helping us out today. Neil Hope, Casey Daniels. Kind of sick of Beasley getting to the line here. Kyle Beasley with 11 points. So if it's not Cat, this team has potential. They shoot well. Beasley, Claxton, Wiggins... Like, they can make up for uh, a slow night from somebody. Uh, Towns is back out there, by the way. So, starters out for Minnesota. And I need to find something to do on this possession. I'll try another screen. And now, get it outside. He's wide open! Colin Sexton puts us up again by 20. Beasley now... Gives it up to Goodson as Casey Daniels is heating up. I need to find those badges and what exactly all the takeover badges are. 
I didn't even understand TakeOver for a long time. Okay, open them up and Hope will knock it down. We are on fire tonight. Another three for San Diego. I think with around three minutes left, I will look to simulate the end of the half. But this is going so well. We're shooting 63%. They can't get a shot. We can't miss. It's a nice combination. Okay, Casey. They don't all have to be worth three points. Casey hasn't missed, by the way. 100% on his field goals. Wiggins over to Towns. They give it back to Wiggins. That's defended well. I couldn't get the board or defend that. Creating a little space there. We can miss those still, apparently. I got to use that step back a little bit more often. Goodson draws contact. Whoa, knocked away, but we're keeping it. And now we have to figure out what we're doing exactly. You know what? Pick and fade Rodney Kane. That sounds like a good idea. Driving with hope. Switched over. So we'll keep it in the hands of Neil. Ah, good try. Wiggins now. Don't want to give him the open three. Wolves down 17. Trying to cut into this lead. Three and change to go. Goodson. Cat there with the screen. Just wanted to help out for a minute there. And I'll get the rebound. Is that like good help defense? That is a three offline. Cat knocked it away from Allen. Like I'm trying to be smart when, when I help out. I don't want to leave my guy open. But if I can get a couple steps... I'm going to try to do it. But now the Wolves are cutting into this lead a little much, so we're calling a timeout for Coach Howard. All right, so from here, why don't we simulate 15-point game? We'll go very slow and get this half done. And not much scoring there. 16-point game. We'll get into the third. I just don't want the game to really change too much. Still 15 point game, mid through the third. And now I think I want to get back in with five and change to go. We'll play the rest of it now. Do you like this format for single game episodes? Oh my, easy. I thought he'd take the three personally, but I'll take two cheap ones. See if we can get this back to 20. Henry. Gonna find Bogdanovich. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. You can shoot it from there if you want it. Offensive three seconds. Cool, that normally happens to me. Sexton. Show one how fast he is. And Allen. Ooh. Henry. Guarded by Casey Daniels. He'll pass it down to Howard, who got by Cole, who comes back with the block. Bogdanovich to Stevenson. No! Minnesota misses again. And now, you're going to leave him open. He's a superstar! I told you that! Neil Hope again. His best game, I'd say, of the playoffs. It's a win-or-go-home scenario. We're trying to win and go home to close this out. Henry... Bogdanovich on the drive. I'm over here, but he got it. Who's cutting across here? Is that Neil Hope? Cole opening up. Casey. Probably not going to take that. Trying to just uh, run past Claxton here. Casey Daniels. I'm sure by now Casey has missed the shot, but probably not too many. Casey with 19. Hope with 22, is it? Yep. 22 and 8. That's 4 on Casey. Okay, no more reaching here. We need you on the floor. Stevenson trying to get past Bolden and shoots over the top of him. Minnesota's not getting open shots, so they've resorted to just making them when defended anyway. We'll see how that works out for him. Ooh. Bolden, that's too much room. Come on now. Bolden's got a nice release. 
Ooh, skip pass over. Ah, oh, man. I like that bounce pass to Casey. And then I ruined the moment. Bogdanovich! No, nice board, Edwin. Alexi, show him what you can do best. Nail that shot. 83-61. It is the Surf's night again. Oops, left Claxton open there. And they'll make the open three. Got out of position with uh, Colin Sexton. It just messed everything up for me. Screen, Edwin, why not? He misses. Six points for Alexi Edwin. Trying to defend Carl Anthony Towns the best he can. How did Claxton get that? It was blocked though. Timberwolves struggling to close this gap. Henry out to Beasley with around a minute to go in the third. A long way to go for the Timberwolves as Henry over Burke offline. Whoa, lost it there. Kind of ran into Rodney Kane trying to go around him on accident. Henry, he'll try to find Towns. Good idea. Was there really contact there? You really calling that? I'm not comfortable yet. Not at all. 16 point game. Oh, couldn't hit the fadeaway. Now Minnesota will get the final shot. Towns will lose the ball though. It's knocked away by Burke and we're not gonna have time for a shot probably. So a 16 point game going into the fourth. Can we hold this to keep our season going? Andrew Wiggins opening the fourth. He thought about the shot. Now Beasley has it. Over to Henry. He's taken a lot of shots in traffic. Not many have gone and Towns! And one. We got to be careful about him here. I know that Towns didn't play a lot in the second and third. So if anyone's fresh, it's him. Goodson now. I had to get a hand in the face there. And let's go. Alexi Edwin, a risky pass for Brooks. I don't want to play at too fast of a pace here to start the half because my main thing right now is just buying our starters time to uh, get ready. Let's get a pick and roll here with Alexi Edwin. Ooh, I didn't actually get any room. That's actually worked a lot today, but it didn't there. All right, Beasley. Brooks caught up defensively. And now trying to drive. He's going to get it. It's an 11-point game. Screen from Edwin. Now we're going to give it to him. And there we go. Don't want Minnesota to get too much momentum. Towns. Can Alexi handle this defensively? Well, a travel. I guess he can a little bit. When's the last time I saw a travel? I'm not sure if I have in this game. Happens very infrequently. Burke got a screen. Can't give it to Edwin yet. All right, Bolden. Need something here with a little time remaining. Dylan Brooks opened up, and we're back up 15 points. Oh, I saw what they were doing there. Couldn't cut it off in time. I also didn't want to open up the player I was guarding around the arc. Let's do some more pick and roll then. Dylan Brooks left alone. Brooks connects from three, and it's a 16-point game. Timberwolves had cut it to 11. And now Wiggins guarded by Michael Carter-Williams. Oh, as soon as I take... Uh, the control of someone else, he knocks it away. That was hilarious. Burke missed. I'm just trying to draw fouls there, but clearly I'm not doing a good job of it. Still enjoyed that steal from Michael Carter-Williams. Three minutes now into the half. At the next whistle, we should have uh, subs. Ooh, that time I forgot about him. 
Starters on the floor. They got some rest. And how are we going to start this sequence? How about Rodney Kane sets the screen? Whoa. Let's just take it then. Rodney Kane with the contact. Five points for Rodney, who played really well in game five. And now, a three-point play. Easily not giving you this lane to the basket that you're looking for. Uh-oh. Now I'm stuck trying to catch up with him, and he misses. Jarrett Allen opened up. Oh, man. I just... I haven't been able to hit that mid-range shot with him in a while. Like, he is supposed to be good at that shot, correct? Parker now versus Kane. And doing my best to stay close to Beasley. Around Allen. Now a double team. Switch. Okay. Casey on Cat. I can't believe they didn't pass it to him. And a very predictable offensive rebound. Trying to reach at Casey here. Oh, I didn't need to take that shot. All right. Towns has it now. He's heating up. We got to end that as fast as possible. Parker, nice. What? No. Illegal screen. I didn't even call for that one. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, tried to run so quickly. All right. Got to clean these possessions up now. Cannot waste this lead. Here's another basket. It's a 10-point game. Minnesota roaring back. KC. Now, let's get it to Neil Hope. He can fix this. Closer than I'd like it to be, that's for sure. Wiggins got some room on it. And now a miss that we can hopefully capitalize on. A lot more pick and roll today. It's just been really working well. Oh, Casey, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Hope from two. No. Under six to play. And they're going to Towns. And Allen able to get in front of it. There is Hope over to Kane. Ah, oh, I'm not getting any fouls on those. My fast break has been so bad because I've been partially trying to get these fouls and I'm just not hope let's go the lead could be more right now if I could just clean some of these possessions up still 14 points up Towns versus Allen want some help cat doesn't care a fade ah I hesitated there for a moment Here we go. Get it to Neil Hope, and that is a foul, and it is a shooting foul. There we go. A good night for Neil Hope. His best so far of the postseason. And that is two for two. 14-point game, four minutes left. Towns against Allen. I thought he had the opening there to take the shot, and Allen now has five. So we could look at him fouling out here in the last four minutes. Towns makes the first. And Towns a little off, but an offensive rebound for Parker and a second chance for Moore. Parker, what? Was that off the side of the backboard and then he gets it back? Foul no right there. And Alexi's coming out to close at center. What a strange sequence. Wow, I really hope that Alexi is ready for this. Minnesota's so lucky right here. Offensive rebounds all over the place. 11-point game and just enough time. Here we go. Uh, Cole almost lost it. Give it up. Screen set by Cole. Got a mismatch. Okay. Got to get smart points. I haven't taken a three in a while. They're just not opening up like they were earlier in the game. Not going to force it. Beasley. What's next for Minnesota? 
Cole right there. Oh, almost knocked it away. Towns airballed, and we got it. Hope down to Sexton. And, oh, it's Edwin. I did not think it was going to be Alexi there. I saw a chance at a potential open three. I wanted to take it. It's that kind of stuff I got to clean up. Nice block. Hope getting to the basket now, and he's at 30 points on the night. We're back to a 15-point lead again, and now just two and a half to play. Let's go, Neil. They're calling Hope player of the game right now, and it's hard to argue with that. Hope has had his best night by far, and he's shown his ability to take over a game offensively. He's played some good defense as well. A lot to like from this performance. As long as these last two and a half minutes go our way. Well, they got Towns. And he's guarded by Bolden. It worked there, and we got the rebound. Just want to see what we're doing here. Yeah, Bolden's playing center. How can I fix that? Is there a way? Probably just going to have to take something here. Cole, step back. No, but Hope with a second chance. Okay, 32 for Neil Hope. Gotta love seeing this. 105, 88. I guess I'll keep uh, Bolden guarding Towns then. Goodson. Gotta take that there. And now he's out of bounds. Sloppy. Wide open. Too easy. He is a good shooter. They refuse to guard him. Bolden has maybe my favorite shooting form and release on this entire team. I should play with him a little bit more. I increased his minutes for this episode, and he's getting a few extra with the foul out of Jarrett Allen. Wiggins pulls up, and that's not going to go, everybody. 19 points up. It sure looks like we're moving on to game seven next time. But it's going to be at home. And that hasn't worked out for us yet. Daniels! Back up by 20 plus. 22 for Casey. What a game. This was uh, a development that began in the first quarter. Minnesota never really stood much of a chance. And that, everybody, is how game six ends. We are going to game seven. We've won on the road again. Neil Hope, Casey Daniels, they lead the way. Another dominant effort. All three games in Minnesota have been decisive victories. Meanwhile, at home, two of those losses were close. But we've got to win to continue our season. But that was fun. Towns did get 27 points, so it wasn't like it was a bad night for Towns. He shot 12 of 18, started slowly. Kyle Beasley did pretty well, but it was all about the surf today. Neil Hope, 13 of 17. He hit four three-point shots. He had two offensive boards. Truly a great performance by Neil Hope. Casey Daniels added four threes of his own. Colin Sexton hit a couple. Bolden hit two. What a night. I see the difference maker. They hit five threes. We hit 15. So next episode, we'll have game seven. We'll do this again. And hopefully we can get our win to move on to the second round. It looks like if we win, we would earn a matchup against the Houston Rockets. So we'll see if we can get it done. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for all the feedback and the help. And now let's hope we can win game seven. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time as the surf try to advance. Have a great day.